dear family, distinguished guests, friends, ladies and gentlemen, we have all come from all walks of life, different walks, different shades, to witness the marriage between Vic and Monisha. four years and within that short amount of time she has become like a sister to me. Monisha is the type of person who celebrates you when you have a success, holds you when you face a loss, takes you on an adventure when you want one, and always makes space for laughter. My wish, if I could have one, is for everyone to have a Monisha in their life. <laughs> And Mo, uh, thank you for finding Vic. Um, I, I could not be more happy he found a woman like you. Uh, trust in each other, trust in God, and swallow your pride because marriage and your love is the most important thing you have for the rest of your life. And just enjoy it and just cherish each other. as we all know is something which is so rare yet so easy to get into but so rare to keep we can only keep marriage with one simple word and that word is love which we are seeing today I thought I was just going on this random date. Little did I know what God's plan actually was. I didn't think that it was possible to fall more in love with you than I already had, but as we get closer to saying I do, I find myself falling even more in love with you. I am thrilled to share my vows with you, and I'm happy to have our friends and family here today. Unfortunately, I have to tell them that if they only came to see us become family, they're too late because you're already my family. I love your laugh, your smile, and your heart. I love how I feel in your presence. And most of all, I love having my best friend around <laughs> all the time. To be an ear to listen to you to push you out of your comfort zone, and to be there to hug you when that's what you need most. You're the calm to my crazy, as some may say, and everything God knew I needed. You've helped bring healing to my broken heart, and I have truly found the one whom my soul loves. I vow to choose you each and every day, to love you, to trust, and respect you, and I cannot wait to be your forever bride. Monisha, I vow to love you from the depths of my soul for as long as we both shall live. Amen. May these rings, blessed by love to the ones to whom they are given, be perpetual symbols of your abiding love and of the covenant made this day. Monisha. I give you this ring as a sign of my love and faithfulness. I give you this ring, Vic, nice. as a sign of my love and faithfulness. <laughs> and by the authority appointed to me as a minister of God by the state of Arizona, I am ordered to announce you, Vic, and Monisha as husband and wife, and what God has put together, let no man put asunder. You may now kiss the bride.
Isaac and Monisha, it's a privilege to be here. Uh, it's interesting, it's fun, and I'm glad to have a uh, new granddaughter. I don't cry, so if I start crying, I might not stop. <laughs> Hold on to, develop, and keep a daily relationship with Christ. When the valleys and rough terrains in life come, you don't have to fight to get through the offensive line to get to him. You already be connected to the source. And I truly do love both of you with all my heart. Our little family of three felt like a really cool club, and it felt complete. And then we met you, Monisha. And from that moment, I knew that Vic had been right all along. We were missing a person. We were missing you. Thank you for making our family bigger and better. Vic, thank you for taking care of my best friend. Um, I've known Monisha for 10 years. We sit um, many times and cried over boys. Um, but I'm glad you're the forever boy that she can cry over. There's no better feeling in life than having someone day in and day out that you feel comfortable and connected with. Someone you genuinely care about and can open up to. It is clear that you have that in one another. I'm beyond excited for both of you to start this journey together. No matter where life takes you, no matter the ups and downs, I know you'll always be able to find that sense of home with one another. And with that, would you all please raise your glasses to my best friend and his beautiful new wife, Mr. and Mrs. Rose. 